Jimmy Herdstrom in Yellowstone has easily become one of my favorite characters in the show, and has also climbed the ranks to be the best character of season 4. What's up y'all? I am The Film Nerd, and welcome back to another video. In today's video essay, I will be discussing arguably the best character of season 4. The man, the myth, the legend, Jimmy freaking Herdstrom. I'll be going over his time on the show and how he developed into the best character in Yellowstone season 4. When we start the show, episode 1, season 1, we watch Rip Wheeler knock on someone's door. The person who opens it is none other than Jimmy, who is, obviously what the showrunners intended, a complete f***ing loser, living a life in mediocrity and filth, far from being a cowboy. Rip welcomes himself in and starts interrogating Jimmy. Rip tells Jimmy that John Dutton made a promise to someone that he would help Jimmy become a man. But in order for Jimmy to be accepted into the fold of the Dutton Ranch, he has to get branded to prove his loyalty. Although a Jimmy agrees to getting branded, this is just the beginning of Jimmy's character arc. He finds himself on the ranch doing ranch work. At first, he struggled with his new way of life and even said that he wasn't cut out for this. But Jimmy pushed through and he kept working hard. Along the way, we see the other ranch hands start to warm up to Jimmy, as we see them take a cut of their own paycheck to get him a new hat. I think this moment is one of the best in the show, because it shows us that the ranch hands have started to become fond of Jimmy, and that he has earned their respect. As the show continues, he gets into some trouble with his past. Two fellas, known as Ray and Blake, tell Jimmy that he owes them eight grand. This is another part of the show that I personally love. Jimmy doesn't know how to make that kind of money that quick to meet the deadline. He turns to everyone to see if they could help him, then Lloyd suggests that he try saddle bronc riding. I love this because this is where Lloyd and Jimmy start to build a relationship that's almost like father and son. Jimmy finds out that he's pretty good at bronc riding. He is able to earn enough money from his newfound passion and pays Ray and Blake. Although Jimmy paid off his debt to them, they murder his grandfather anyway. Jimmy enraged gets revenge by blowing up their meth house, killing both Ray and Blake. Jimmy then meets a girl named Mia at a rodeo. The two quickly become lovers, but before that happens, Jimmy gets injured after falling off a bucking horse. John Dutton pays for his medical bills and tells Jimmy that he's not allowed to rodeo anymore. Mia convinces him to do it again, because if he doesn't do what he loves, she is going to leave him. Jimmy rides again and gets hurt again. John then has to pay for the medical bills once again. Obviously disappointed in Jimmy, he decides to send him to the ranch known as Four Sixes, which is an actual ranch owned by Taylor Sheridan. This causes him and Mia's relationship to crumble, to the point where Mia gives Jimmy the silent treatment. Oh no, the silent treatment. With the relationship seemingly over, John and Jimmy have a heart-to-heart -heart talk about going to Four Sixes. He tells Jimmy that this could be a life-changing opportunity if he lets it. This is also one of my favorite moments in the show. It feels like John is being vulnerable with Jimmy and actually opening up. Next, we watch Jimmy go through the pains and discomforts of working at Four Sixes. This is where Jimmy becomes the best character of the season. He finally learns what it means to become a man. Jimmy takes responsibility and accountability for his mistakes in the past, and even learns how to rope. Jimmy learning how to rope is so significant and important to his character, more than I think people realize. When Jimmy first started working at the Dutton Ranch, he didn't know how to rope, so he just didn't and never even tried to improve. He takes responsibility and accountability and practices. He even meets a new girl named Emily, who would later become his fiance. When Jimmy goes back to the Yellowstone Ranch, it's clear to everyone that Jimmy is now a man. And it's clear to us that Jimmy is the best character of season four. We've seen Jimmy at his lowest, then at his most high. Jimmy's character arc is simply amazing. It truly feels rewarding and satisfying to see Jimmy's character arc finally come to an end. I know he's confirmed to be in season 5, which I can't wait to see. I'm excited to see where the show will continue to take Jimmy and his bright personality. If you enjoyed this video, consider leaving a like. If you want more of this content from a small conventional YouTuber, subscribe. And without further ado, peace out nerds.